Hello everyone friends, we decided to briefly talk about such an important thing as the difference between zero and one, specifically the zero day and the first day. We realize that this is actually an important topic and not everyone understands what D0 and D1 are, where and how they are used. Zoriana, if you want to expand and scale your project and publish it, simply go to the Kasai website and fill out the publishing form. If you just want to monetize your game, go to the Kasai website and fill out the mediation form. Hi everyone guys. And today, as usual, we'll briefly talk about acquisition, our main metrics, as always. If you've been watching Oleg and me for a long time, then you know that we always tell you about such metrics as ROAS on day zero, ROAS on day one, and ROAS on day seven. And you've probably seen in some of our videos that our main metrics for casual and hyper-casual games in acquisition are based on a certain reference point. We need to understand what percentage of revenue a specific particular user we acquired will bring in from the very beginning. So what exactly is this reference point? Is it day zero or day one? We've probably mentioned somewhere before that we regularly buy traffic from all sorts of different networks. I mean ad networks, including video ad networks such as Mintegral, Unity, and Iron Source, and we actually buy from them all. Social networks, one of the biggest is Google Ads, where we have very large spends and all kinds of different campaigns running. So let's talk for a moment about how they differ. App Magic. This is one of our partners that helps us analyze games in detail, as well as purchases and SDKs. It offers a lot of interesting features. I highly recommend them. They're great guys. Reach out if you need a link. As a rule, we always look at Day Zero ROAS. So what is Day Zero ROAS and how is it calculated? For example, if a user installs the game today at 11.45 p.m., plays for 10 minutes, takes a break, and then has a second session at 12.05, but now it's after midnight, is the revenue they generated considered day zero or already day one? Because video networks consider a user's first 24 hours in the game as their day zero. And when we calculate our ROAS and look at acquisition, we look at their ROAS and their revenue. On day zero, meaning within 24 hours from the moment the app was installed, it was considered anyone who knows and has independently launched ad campaigns in Google Ads knows that it's not possible to run ad campaigns for day zero. There, you can only conduct ad campaigns for day one, day one. So what does that mean? If day zero is 24 hours, does that mean day one is 48 hours? No. There's a small hidden catch here because Google actually calculates things both theoretically and practically the same way as networks do. They just call it something different. So if you're calculating day zero growth for networks and day one for Google, it's actually the same metric, just named differently. So please be careful when you're launching ad campaigns for your business. Keep a close eye on your buying habits and come join us for publishing at cast.ai. We'll go through all of your projects together step by step and help you successfully scale. I'd also like to add that there's a difference between day zero and day one, not only between Google and networks and between Firebase and most traditional MMPs because a traditional MMP calculates retention rate the same way as the networks do. That is, the first 24 hours are considered day zero. And whatever takes place after those 24 hours in this context is considered day one. But as always, Google decided to stick strictly to the established calendar principle in this particular situation. For example, if a player leaves the game at around 11 p.m., plays for approximately 40 minutes, then gets distracted by something else and only after that launches the game again at exactly 12, 12 a.m., for Google that would already count as retention day one. But at the same time, from the ROAS perspective, for Google, it's still the same as well. Day one is actually the zero day. In short, friends, you just have to live with this. You need to understand for yourself that there is a calendar retention rate and a 24 hour retention rate. That's a difference of one day. And during the first week, especially on that very first day, it really, really makes a big difference. On Google, you set ROAS one, not at 70, but at 55. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss anything. Monetization case studies from mobile games.